Good morning, my name is Jackson Ng and today I'd like to highlight to you 5 simple steps or 5 simple formula how to achieve your goal you see we all set goals in life whether you want to become a trainer and you want to have uh, you know a few new training programs uh, 90 days after or you may want to lose 5 kg or you want to buy a car or you want to be a marathon runner or whatever whatever your goals are ladies and gentlemen we always have the desire to set the goal but at the same time we have challenges to carry out the goals and maybe after one month after two months we get tired and we just say ah, no lah no lah i'm gonna give up i will postpone this goal to next year so how many times people postpone their goals or when they see some small or big challenges along the way then they give up so today i want to share with you five simple steps how you can achieve your goals and you can also measure the results yeah now the first thing first is that your goal whatever it is must be clear and simple clear and simple why is it clear and simple because your mind will feel that your mind has the power to turn into actions so example you say i want to lose 5 kg in 90 days doable doable achievable because a lot of people have made it losing 5 kilo or 10 kilo in 90 days is doable if you say i want to do i want to run i want to be able to run 5 km and you never run before but your goal is to be able to run 5 km in the next 90 days doable yes it's achievable because a lot of people have made it if you are a new trainer you say my goal is to run to training in the next 90 days doable yes it's doable so first thing first your goal must be clear and it's simple and of course your goal must have benefits if you do it you can see benefits coming to you so for myself I set a goal that I want to be fitter in the next 90 days I started last week and I start to feel that my body is changing my body is getting more energized my body is getting fitter of course i just started one week ago and i'm so excited about this goal so what's the goal the goal is becoming fitter than now okay and how do i measure well i say i want to lose 10 kg 10 kg in the next 90 days so goal must be simple and must be clear now step number two how do you turn your goal into actions you must create daily action plan for me I, I, I create a space that one day I need to allocate one hour to two hours to exercise or or to burn the fats in my body so when you make time to 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 uh, you commit time to to create the actions to achieve your goal you then have an action plan for instance you say i want to become a marathon runner so you create the time and the space 90 minutes or 60 minutes a day for you to run and exercise then towards 90 days you will be able to run for 5 km if you are a writer you want to write a book then you say i'm gonna spend i'm gonna spend two hours every day put aside to write my new book so you have a goal for 90 days you have action an action plan every day you set a time you create a time you make appointment with yourself you have given a lot of time to everybody this time you create the time one hour two hour for yourself you are making an appointment with yourself and this is very important so that you have the time and the space to carry out your goals the action to achieve your goals so ladies and gentlemen step number two is to create the action plan and the time to allow yourself uh, doing the actions in order to reach your goal be it running be it writing be it training be it exercise whatever the actions may be step number three i want to share with you is always always put a beautiful picture of the outcome example the outcome is that you're gonna be fitter then you put a picture of someone fitter than you maybe and you just know that this is the kind of body that you want to have now if you are writing a book put the book title or the book cover or the book design 
on the wall so that you can see the outcome so right now your book is not completed yet you're just starting to write a book but you have the outcome of the book on the wall you have the cover design of the book on the wall you have a strong guy uh, you know you have a strong guy with a strong body uh, the picture of the guy on the wall or you have a new bicycle on the wall because this is what you're gonna get 90 days later so very important is the 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 the, the vivid uh, picture of the outcome of your goal is there to remind you okay and when you see the outcome you get very excited okay now step number four is you will never know whether you are progressing or not unless you measure the result how very simple every week maybe on sunday you are more relaxed you can measure the results where are you this week compared to last week where are you this sunday compared to last sunday are you doing more are you progressing because when you see yourself progressing you feel a sense of achievement and you feel motivated you want to do more next week you want to do more why because you are progressing from week one to week two to week three to week four to week five now why i ask people to measure results in 90 days because if you continue to measure results you know you have actually succeeded in carry out little little actions by the end of the 90th, 90th day, you can see your results is very visible and you get to see a fitter body, you get your book uh, uh, written, you get, uh, I mean, whatever your goal accomplished. Now, very important also, when you see some results on a weekly basis, you deserve a celebration. So, be nice to yourself, be friendly to yourself, be generous to yourself and when you see progress not yet the result but when you see progress you are progressing reward yourself buy yourself something that makes you happy example buy a new shirt maybe buy a new bicycle maybe uh, you know eat, eat, eat your favorite food or watch your favorite movie and this little celebration will actually feel your motivation you get excited again and you get motivated again and you are ready to perform more actions in the following week yeah so these five simple steps let me recap number one set clear and simple goal so that you can see the results happening in 90 days second always create simple and doable action on daily basis yeah every day you have one hour or two hours and make appointment with yourself so that you can create the actions on daily basis third remember to show the outcome that that can remind you that can motivate you put it on the wall the outcome of your goal be it a bicycle a new book a fitter body whatever it is and number three, number four very importantly is to measure results on weekly basis so that you get excited that you have accomplished something this week compared to last week and number five the most important is celebrate small success on weekly basis because you have uh, achieved something so you deserve a small celebration i hope these five steps will help you whether you are a trainer or you are whatever your position is even if you are a boss you can still set new goals in 90 days and why 90 days because it's long enough to achieve anything 90 days can help a person to reduce their body weight 90 days can enable a person who never exercised before to become a young athlete 90 days can help a person to write a book 90 days can help a new trainer to run some new training programs 90 days can help you form a new hobby and to apply the hobby and to do the hobby and become a happier person 90 days can transform your health 90 days can transform your financial situation 90 days can transform your family uh, and relationship 90 days can do the magic so ladies and gentlemen let's not set go for one year but let's just focus on small little steps in 90 days 
My name is Jackson Ng and I wish you the very best in your goal setting and most important is the action and the celebration. Thank you for watching this video. I see you in the next video.